Hello and welcome to another replay commentary. So today I'm going to be giving you a brief explanation on what you should be spending your first 2000 gold on as a jungler. And this is very important because it can very much alter like how effective you are as a player and how strong you are relative to other champions. Now as far as getting the first 2000 gold, there are three ways that a jungler can make gold. The first way that he can make gold is jungling. So that's just clearing out the, the monster camps. Um, the second way you can make gold is by ganking. And this is has a you know some percentage chance of being successful depending obviously on how good you are relative to the lane you're ganking, how good the your ally is relative to the lane you're ganking and what your skill set is. So you know some some characters are obviously much gankers better gankers than other characters. So for instance, Warwick is a very poor ganker until level six, whereas you know Shaco is a very strong gank ganker even at level two. So again the ways to make gold jungling, ganking, and the third way is taking objectives. And also stealing CS basically from your laners. So those are ways that you can make gold. And basically, as far as how much gold you can expect to make, um, by the five or six minute mark, you should expect to have about a thousand. You should have expected to have made about a thousand gold on top of the, you know, your starting stats of 475 gold. So having a total of gold of 1,475. And by about seven to eight minutes, you should expect to have about 2,000 gold. Now, obviously, this can be significantly increased if you're um, successfully ganking and it can also be significantly decreased if you're failing at ganks or getting counter jungle so you know it could be as low as 500 by five to six minutes if you died and you've just been very unsuccessful at ganking and you know it could be as low as a thousand at, at seven to eight minutes if you've been again unsuccessful at ganking getting counter ganked and dying so you know, this is just a general guideline and you should expect some variation depending on the games. Now I'm going to be also discussing the primary way that you make gold. So that it, again is jungling. And what initially constrains you is actually damage initially. So it takes, I, I, I did a rough calculation and it takes about 142 seconds to clear all the camps. Um, obviously if you don't buy any damage items, it's going to become more and more difficult because the camps slowly scale over time. Um, so this was just to, you know doing a rough calculation of how much health the camps have, how much armor, what you know your expected attack speed and damages, and armor pen and all that stuff. I didn't. The only thing I didn't take into account was ability power. So you should expect the time to actually be lower, um, and also ability. So you know you should expect it to be somewhat lower. So again, you can see that's though even though it's a rough calculation, you can see it's much larger than the move time, which is 32 seconds. So that's if you start at you know blue and then go to all the camps, making your way down to double golems. So again, if you start here and then you make go to this camp, this camp, this camp, and this camp, that should take you about 32 seconds. So you can see it's basically takes more than four times as long to do damage than it does to move between the camps. Now, as soon as you get, for instance, a Madrid, that basically doubles your damage to to um, to camps. So, because because of its a uh, unique unique um, unique ability, so you can see it does twenty. You have a twenty five percent chance to do three hundred bonus damage. So that's basically, you're doing 75 extra damage um, per attack to each camp. So again, um, we can say that's probably at least a, a uh, you're halving the, the clear time. So you can see it's becoming um, the, the damage um, restraint, that is how long it takes to kill every camp, is, is becoming much closer to the move speed. So initially, you it's much better to optimize for damage, so um, to make gold. 
Again, you, you definitely want to rush Madrid's or Spirit Stone. Madrid's Riggles or some sort of Spirit Stone. Because that's going to affect the clear time the most. But once you get that item, you want to um, optimize for, for move speed. And there are several move speed modifiers in this game. One, obviously, is move speed Quinn, so that's just something that you might want to consider as a jungler. Um, I wouldn't recommend it because actually getting attack speed quints is going to increase your, your clear time much more than getting a move speed quints. It's like a pretty significant difference. So again, um, the move speed modifiers are boots. So um, this is going to give you less than a 10% increase in move speed, um, just regular boots. And this will give you slight, any of these boots will give you more than a 10% move speed boost. So you can see you can start affecting this constraint again, which becomes move speed. And the re other reason that you want to um, um, boost your move speed after getting Riggles or, you know, Madrids or Spirit Stone is because it makes ganking much easier. So if you're slower than the enemy champions, it's harder to gank because they can just run away from you. And even if you have a gap closer, if you can't get in range to do a gap closer, then you know you're just not going to be able to catch up to them. Now, this being said, you're usually going to be able to sneak up on the enemy champions, so move speed isn't a huge deal, um, but it does make ganking slightly easier. So, by what I'm saying by that is that suppose you're ganking this lane, obviously you're not going to run through this lane because he's just going to react and walk away, basically. So you're going to sneak up on him so that move speed is less of an issue. But after you use your gap closer, for instance, let's say I use my E, my dash, which slows him, I'm going to run up to him and be able to successfully use this, right? And then he can start walking away. Now, I know this slows him, and usually a lot of junglers have some sort of slow. But, you know, being able to keep up with him and continue to do auto attacks is, is going to greatly increase your damage and make your, your um, ganks more successful. So that's why boots are very important. It shall um, be done. Because one, again, I said as I said before, they increase your your gold basically by de decreasing the major constraint, which becomes move speed, and clearing the jungle. And two, they make ganking easier. So that's why, you know, you get boots a lot of times after you get your your madrids, right? And as far as choices for your your first boots, you can get any of these boots. So berserkers, ninja tabbies, boots of mobility. Swiftness, Lucidity, Sorcerer Shoes, and Mercury Treads. Now, for most junglers, the people usually consider Ninja Tabbies and Mercury Treads. And the reason that they consider these two is they give stats um, that are useful for a lot of junglers. So these are defensive stats. So this one is going to give you both armor. So it's going to give you an increase to effective health, basically, against 80 champions. And it's also going to block 10% of basic auto, so it's going to give you a pretty significant um, increase in um, effective health. And the other choice that's often commonly considered by junglers is Merc Treads, and this one gives you um, a significant increase in, you know, for what it is basically, uh, it lets you get a significant increase in effective health against AP casters, and it also reduces CC. So, you know, these are usually the most common choices. Now. The, probably the, the two lesser um, choices are Boots of Mobility and Boots of Swiftness. You, you rarely see these on junglers. And the reason is that they don't provide a lot of um, stats, basically, defensive stats. So you're, you're sacrificing defensive stats for increased move speed. Now, I actually think Boots of Mobility is probably one of the... is, is not good for a jungler because you're clearing jungle camps and it takes five seconds to um, get the increased move speed bonus. So this is not actually going to be active that much. If, for instance, you you know are here and you want to roam up here, then it's very good. Um, but again, since you're clearing most of these camps, presumably, um, and there's some cases where this is an exception, but if you're clearing all these camps, then you're not going to be real, really able to utilize this bo bonus. So you can actually consider Boots of Swiftness, and it has a nice ability in that it lets you um, decrease the effects of slows. So, you know, you might even consider this if there's a lot of slows on the enemy team. 
And so this is going to give you the, the most increase in, in clear time. So as you can see, it's 45 versus 60 move speed. And again, since I said that the major constraint is move speed, this is going to give you the most gold, basically, of all the items, because you can clear more jungles, jungle more quickly, and it costs basically the least amount of gold of any of the tier 2 boots besides Berserker's Greaves. So you can consider this as a jungler, I think. So that's just something that you might want to think about. And as far as other move speed items, there's Zeal, which gives you a 5% increase in bonus move speed. Um, Static Shiv, which you shouldn't buy for them if, if you're considering move speed modifiers because it only gives you 1% 1, 1 increase. Um, you almost go, Ghost Blade and PD don't really do anything over the Zeal. And Zephyr, which gives you a 10% move speed bonus. So again, Zephyr and Zeal are two other things that you consider as consider as the jungler to optimize clear times. Now, at some point, clear times are not going to become important because you're team fighting, and you need to optimize for team fights. So, if you over optimize for jungle clear times, you can become much weaker in the team fight. So, for instance, yes, the boots of swiftness give you the a, a great ability to gank and um, so an enhanced ability to gank and enhance gold through faster clear times which also enhances your ability to gank because you don't have to be in the jungle as much but when it becomes to the comes to the team fight stage then ninja tabbies and merc treads are much more effective because they give you stats that are relevant in most of the team fights so that's just something you have to consider you know when is the team fight stage going to start occurring and how frequently is it going to start occurring so if you look at your team comp and you look at their team comp and you realize that laning is going to occur for a long period of time then getting items that let you clear the jungle optimally um, and quickly are going to be the best choices for early item choices so because they let you increase your power most significantly so Again, if laning is going to be very, very protracted, then you want to optimize jungle clear times. Now, alternatively, if the enemy team has a lead or your team has a lead, I assume that in most cases you're going to be leaving the laning phase and using that lead, or the other team is going to be using that lead to secure objectives to snowball their lanes. So in that case, um, you're going to want to optimize for team fights, and I'll talk about how to optimize for team fights in a later video. So that's just something you have to consider. Is the laning is is the game very even? Is like are people playing very cautiously, not not like very aggressively? Um, is that what's happening? In that case, you should be optimizing again for move speed and and jungled clear times. So that's like damage to the jungle, which is magic and wriggles and sightstone. Or if it's the laning phase is ending very quickly into the game, then you don't want to invest your, your scarce resources into jungle clear times, but instead into enhancing your team fight abilities. So I hope this video was informative and gives you a better idea on what you should be um, optimizing for in the jungle. And please remember to rate, subscribe, and comment.